What's up, Samurai? We are back again for some more Tears of the Kingdom. And I realized at the end of the last episode, we were going through the tutorial and got through all of it basically in one clean run. Uh, I did not realize that we don't have the ability to fast travel to shrines yet. So we're actually in for a little bit more of an adventure in the tutorial area. There's our cold resistant pants. Oh my God. That, I feel like an idiot. There is a hang gliding machine right there. What the heck? No. Really? Dude, this freaking game. I love this game. It's just everything is like so intrinsic and intriguing all the time. Okay, we're not freezing to death. Thankfully. No clip activated. I wanted to see what was up here because it's probably a Zorai or whatever that's going to explain it to me, maybe? Or is it just a gotcha machine? It might have different stuff in it though. Uh, but yeah, anyways, hopefully you've been enjoying the series. We'll see how long this episode ends up being. Let's skip the gotcha mechanics, see if we get anything new. Yep, yep, look at that. So they're actually giving us more stuff as we progress through the game. Zona device that can harness, uh, harness lift to ride the wind. To fly further, try balancing in the center of the wing. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'm as excited as I am scared. <laughs> Why would I need that instead of a glider? I guess because it doesn't take stamina. My duties today are complete. Oh, this is a rarity. It is unusual for me to receive visitors here. I assume you require a Zonai device as, uh, I know about the dispenser, thank you very much. I thought you were gonna tell me about the flying device. So, I'm also noticing the... Wait a minute, what is that? Wait. It's a floating platform? Whoa! That's so cool, dude. So then... Oh! I don't know why, I think I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh my lord. There's floating platforms that you can move anytime you want. That's really cool. Jeez. I almost died. <laughs> That's crazy. So help me, I will not fall off this island. If I fall off the island, I have to uninstall the game. Dude, I saw that. We'll take a peek at those islands in a second, but... Dude, that means like, yeah, like... Wings, okay. That means like vertical towers like that are gonna be so much easier to navigate now that we have ascend. Look at that. Jeez. The level design's gonna go bonkers in this game, dude. Like, man. Okay. I'm still struggling so hard with the controls right now. Oh boy, that was scary. Huh. Okay. There was water down there, so we actually would have been okay. All right, test run. Test run. Do I... How? Do I push it first? How do I do this? Or do I gotta attach a fan to the back of it, probably? I kinda wanna test first. Yeah, that's why they have the dispenser here. Okay, you know what? We don't need to trial it. We can just do it. Yeah. Nope, that's not the power I want. Oh, they already got one over there. Okay, okay, okay. This is, oh look, it's like a launch pad. I didn't even notice. All right, dude, this is gonna be so freaking cool. And then, oh, I kind of low key want to put the, it would drain too much of the power off of my battery, but I would love to put fire on the front of this just for coolness sake. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh. Oh lord. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm at a slight angle. Somehow it's working though. The glide on this seems to really be working. Wait, wait a minute. Can I fly it myself? Oh my god. What's gonna happen when we run out of juice? I kind of want to get to that island over there. What happens when we run out of juice? Do we just keep gliding? Dude, that's so cool. That's so cool. And then we can dive bomb. Dive. Dive! <laughs> Dive! No! My precious friend! 
I was trying to land in the water. Oh my god, okay. <sighs> well, that was still really cool. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything actually here. I feel like there's a Korok over here. Uh, speaking of, I still remember the Korok that we saw at the end of the last, or not at the end, but um, in the last video. I just don't want to go for him until we have our glider because I feel like that's going to be like super duper mandatory for exploration. Like it'll just make things a lot easier. You know what I mean? There's like a whole thing on the back of that place. Okay. Uh, question is, am I stuck up here now? Because I don't know how to get down. Oh, I didn't even realize I can just look at the map and then I can always know where I am. Like in terms of if there's water under me. Wait, please don't tell me that there was a spot I could have dived. Maybe, maybe there was. Like for, um, for a Korok seed is what I'm getting at. Thankfully, there's all of these lily pads around because, yikes. Okay, what is that? Is that something I can grab? It's a little too far away. Yeah, okay. Draining my stamina. At least he does seem to be able to swim pretty well now. I think that if I had the choice, I'll probably go for stamina first. Maybe stamina first. I don't know. I don't know what I want to go for first because stamina is like really, really useful in this game, obviously. But I also don't like getting one shot by everything. Armor is going to negate a lot of that. And personal skill as I get better at this video game. But, anyways. I'm so curious what's going to be in the Temple of Time. Unless it's just, ah, oh, hey, we, we're going to give you your glider and unlock the entire map and give you fast travel points. Which I would be perfectly happy with. That would be big. That'd be huge. Oh, also. I, I wanted to test... Okay, in Breath of the Wild, you could whistle and sprint at the same time by tapping the buttons, and it would give you, like, infinite stamina. Now it seems like they actually made it so that it drains your stamina faster, which makes sense. He's trying to whistle while he's running. Open up! Sweet. This place looks cool. I still really want to go to the uh, intro area if we can ever fast travel to that. So that we can explore the Ganondorf cave or whatever, because I know that there was bombs and stuff. What the heck is this? Zelda has one of those. A smaller one, anyway. This is a big one. I guess this is like the Triforce collectible thing in this world. Yeah. My eyes! I'm blind! Whoa. Uh, hello. So is this her ancestor or... I'm so confused, like did time pass now or did she like gain infinite knowledge or something? Like, it's kind of cool because it makes her more like a sage, like she was in Ocarina. Instead of just a confused, weird brat. Thank you, I guess. Oh, it hurts. Ow. Ouch. Oof. Ouch. Kind of burns a bit. Ah, stings. Stings. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh-huh. And then, the power of gold? Wait, is this giving me a power up? No, it's just, whoa. Ooh, a piece of our arm grew. That's a pretty cool way of being able to see, oh God. Why is everyone a ghost? It's a pretty cool way of seeing your progress in the game by being able to just look at your arm instead of a pause menu. That's, Sweet.
I love how reserved this game is being. Wait, that was a power up. Reverse an object's momentum until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement at any time. Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. So when an enemy like throws a barrel at me or something, I can make it go back to them? What what else could that do? Uh can I use it as an like means to go backwards on an elevator? Recall. Oh god. Sorry, Dad, I didn't know you were there. Raru, uh, the ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. Oh, like those. Okay, that's pretty simple, but I get it. Uh, Zelda has vanished as well. Hmm. Well, you just saw it's a mystery even to me, a ghost. Perhaps it was some sort of echo, one that reflects her sheer willpower. Hmm. Mm, that, ne that you've now been given his this ability, no doubt it will prove important. <laughs> okay. So, I can do like this, right? Oh my god, bro. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. And then I can stop. And then... There's no cool down on it. Oh, thank god. It's not like the runes in uh, Breath of the Wild where we had to like wait and wait and wait for them to recharge. It's literally just a matter of the timer on it. And then I can just disable it and activate it on something else. Dude, that's so cool. What's up, handsome? Uh, hello? Can I? Don't just smile at me. Let me increase my health and stamina. The goddess smiles, statue smiles at you. Okay, weirdo, freak. All right, here we go. That Dark Souls door. Wait, it's taking my health. Oh, oh, oh God. This door is so heavy, it's killing me. It's a test of your overall vitality. What? Mm. You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open it. Wait, is that the final area? in this game it's not the master sword it's just opening a door there's one more shrine on this island there you can get another blessing wait where what oh if you add that to the other blessings you received at the shrines and offer them all to the goddess you might just find your way forward after all mm. let me see the pura pad i'll give you the ability to fast travel yes it lets you travel to certain places instantly. See the blue marker up there? Yes. It suggests the one at the bottom of the map. Use the travel function to reach there quickly with fast traveling. Yes, thank you. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Dude, the way that the game is like just unfolding is nutty. It's so cool. Ah! Ah! And then I'm killed, and then it creates a doppelganger clone of me. All right, fast traveling, fast traveling load times. Let's see how that is. That's also insanely impressive on the Switch. Oh, hey, we're in the first dungeon. Dude, I wanted to go here. Okay, because there was a bunch of secrets that I wanted to discover. Wait. Oh. Okay, so when we... Right. At the beginning of the game, when we saw uh, Ganon or Ganondorf or Agnum or whatever, I noticed that there was bombable walls, right? But I just realized that's under Hyrule. We're, we're nowhere near Hyrule Castle right now. <laughs> okay. It's, oh, dude. So we get to use all of our abilities. It's like the trial dungeon. Whoops. That's cool. I like that. Okay. And then I can exit. And then I can get my time rewind power. It's literally the JoJo move. Oh! I didn't know it was reversing time on everything. Dude, that means you could... Okay, you can spam it. So it's not, it's not that bad. Like, you can kind of cheese certain puzzles with it. Because you could just refresh the timer. Dude, that's crazy. I'm still like so intimidated at like what options will lay before us in terms of like 
okay, well, how how do we experiment with this? How do we do this? How do we, like, it's just, ugh. hey, man, what's up? Yeah, this is the crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Get producing! The production will require at least 100 crystallized charges. What? Return and you've collected a sufficient amount. One note regarding the zonite required to process crystallized charges. The mines on this island have nearly run dry. I doubt there will be enough to left to fill the energy well. There is more to be had. Check the distant depths of the world below. The underground area. Okay, wait. So what the heck is this thing then? Crystal refinery. So he takes the... What, what is an energy well? An energy well can increase the capacity of the energy cell you are carrying. Perma upgrade. Okay. Okay. Let me... Hold on. Um... This is uh, energy well, you can increase the capacity, energy well, yeah, 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 sure, okay. Thanks, man. That's very, very expensive for the Zonai resources because we exchange, I don't know what the ratio is, but we can exchange the Zonai materials um, for a crystallized one, and then we have to trade a hundred crystallized ones to him. Yikes. Oh. That's, uh, that's a lot. It's intimidating right now, but... I didn't know there was still this much left to this island. Like, dude. Whoa. The ability to rewind. Oh! <gasps> it literally shows the trajectory of where it's going, too. That's so freaking cool. Dude, this, this reminds me, like, maybe I'm crazy. The ability to rewind and stuff, this kind of reminds me of, uh... Oh, wait a minute. I got it. This kind of makes me think of... I can use multiple powers at the same time. Wow. Like, a link to the past and stuff. Like, jeez. Okay, so here's the real big brain strat is... Can I, uh... Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, if I could uh, reverse... Wow. I can completely reverse the momentum of this item. I can make it go back into the sky where I just had it two seconds ago. Dude, that's nuts. Nope. Come back, please. Dude, that is so crazy. That's so crazy. It keeps all of it. Like, even the, even the ripples of it. That's... Ugh. crazy okay um so this area they clearly want me to can you thank you i'm still struggling so badly with the controls i'm sorry guys so they want me to reverse that thing but i'm not even gonna bother with that because i can attach it to the gear wait i can physically move the gear okay so they want me to reverse the gear But I'm just gonna ascend, baby. <laughs> I love the fact that there's multiple approaches to the same situation. That's so cool. 10 arrows. All right, sure, I'll take it. Woo! That's so, that's so neat. Okay. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this thing now? Time reverse, obviously. Oh. Oh, I see. They're both inverted from one another. So, what I gotta do... I get it. So, I can interact with each of them independently of one another. But if I grab that one and make it reverse with it... There we go. Oh my god, this is hurting my head. The amount of possibilities, dude. Like, it's crazy. Okay, so it requires four Blessings of Light. I thought it was three to get a heart container increase, but nope. May the light of the blessing grant the strength you seek. 
Uh, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. So does that mean that we could jump? I'm out of coffee. Does that mean that we could jump off of this beautiful island once more? Because I also noticed that there's this pathway. Which looks new. <gasps> Gliders! All right, I will always take a flying machine. Uh, instead of like, sure, we could fast travel, but where's the fun in that, dude? <laughs> like legit, Where? why would I do that? Okay, uh, let's do that. Oh God. Oh, oh! No! Come back, my child. Wait, I could also time reverse this. Dude, that's so crazy. Oh, Lord. Uh, well, I could just keep flying out into the endless abyss. This is this is kind of bad, actually. But maybe we'll be able to do something fun. Because I don't have my glider yet, dude. Like, this is, uh, this is not good. Okay, watch this. I'm going to do, like, an epic, uh... An epic Zelda moment. I'm gonna make it, okay? We're gonna land right in the water. You don't think we will, but I think we will. This is gonna be epic. Huh. Oh lord. Don't hit. Don't. Uh. Uh. My momentum is carrying too much. Ah, I didn't know I could dive like that. <laughs> well, that was close. Now I'm gonna drown. Wait, is that my bird up there? Oh no, that's an enemy. Okay. Woo! That was still so cool. There is no fast travel point there. Okay, so we can fast travel down here even if I wanted to. Oh! That's so fun, dude. Like, they just... Here's Nintendo just like, hey, you know what? Let's, uh, let's just make a fun video game. That has, like, just so many freaking com components to it. It's just... Oh, I love this game. This is not only game of the year. It's like game of the century, dude. Like, this is nutty. As if, as if last year, like, I'm, I'm really glad that we're getting this game now, you know, because I feel like, God, it's so bright. Because I feel like last year, you know, we got Elden Ring and that was like the big game for me where it's still one of my favorite games of all time. But this game is like revolutionary and so it's kind of gonna destroy other open world games i'm not necessarily saying that this would you know uh obviously elden ring still holds a place in my heart as one of the most amazing games ever that is obviously going to end up retaining that favoritism and bias but i mean i guess i'm just always a nintendo fan at heart so this is uh this is one of my favorite video games i've ever played like no question this is incredible I just, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna gush about the game for a little bit here. <laughs> hey, statue of idiot. What's up? Hey, hearty. Welcome back. Uh, okay. Um, what do you want? A heart con- Yeah, I want a heart container. Yes, please. I shall grant the power you seek, but only for a kiss. Oh. Kind of weird. I'm married, but- Oh my god, Link looks so happy. Oh! Oh! That did not look healthy. Whew. Increasing your maximum hearts by one. Yes, please and thank you. Go bring peace to the world. Dude, I felt that. Like, dang. Okay, here we go. Hey. Great. Good. Push the door. You may be taking my life source, but I don't care. Ah, ah. That means there's gonna be other doors like this. Oh, God. Whew. Elden Ring moment. Uh, Dark Souls door. Whew. Okay. Okay, give me my godforsaken glider. Whoa, it's tingling. Oh, I'm getting a Skype call. Hang on, guys. Hey, Rabu. I see you have managed to open the door. Yeah. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You are almost beyond saving. 
I know, thank you. You don't gotta rub it in. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Nice. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. Wait, what do you mean? Where are you going, bro? You are exactly as Zelda said. I- wait, so did- How do you know Zelda? What do you mean? Was I unconscious for like- Everything I can for her. What? Now it is up to you. Bro. <laughs> it's the meme. I'm out. <laughs> it's just... No, come back, Rauru. I, I'm sorry. I meant that. I love you. Please. Oh. I'm so confused. Like, he knows Zelda, and uh, apparently they've interacted for a lengthy period of time. So, I mean, this is the Temple of Time, so obviously. Uh, how do I... Video game. Ascend. Okay. Don't accidentally fall and die. <laughs> Uh, no clip. I guess it's doing that when it's uh, processing or lagging or something. Whee! Ooh. Okay. Just can barely make that one. Okay. So now what? Surely this is the glider. Or a new power-up, that would be cool. I'll take either at this point. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, it's talking. To it kill me. Okay. Hiya. It was weak and pathetic, so it's not like I had to like do a powerful swing. Is this repairing it? Wait, is it reversing time on the master sword? <laughs> Wait. Wait. It is doing Ocarina of Time, time travel stuff. Because we sent this back in time. Or to the future, I don't know, but... I mean, I guess it was a piece of crap anyway, so I guess I don't need it. At least I have you, Arm. I shall call you Rabru. Ah! What have I done? I didn't do it! Oh no, not you, you stupid dragon. Go back to Breath of the Wild, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. It was so tough farming resources off of that guy. Dude, is that like the wind temple and stuff? I hope they have different elemental temples and stuff in this game. Dude, I'm, Link. I'm... Link! You must find me. Find me. Find me, Link. Dude, I'm getting goosebumps. Like, help. It's all over. My hair is all standing on end. Okay. So they clearly want me to drop into... Um... They, they want me to drop into that pool of water. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it, but... Huh. Okay. Whoa. Dude, like, at first... When I first saw this game, I, I kept thinking to myself, that's so lame, they're just reusing the same map. But the fact that they're 
changing the entire map and actually like having so many different game changing mechanics to it is absolutely crazy. Dude, there's like random floating islands around as well. Mount Doom's over there. I don't know what that giant tornado thing is, but I'm just, I'm so excited to start this journey and adventure with you guys in this game. <laughs> Whoops.